Well, welcome. Great to be practicing with you today. Well, let's get started. When you're ready, we start as we always do. By simply lying back, closing your eyes, and breathing. Time to settle in. You lie back so that you allow the floor to support you. So you're no longer trying to hold yourself up or hold yourself together. You start to feel that sense of surrender, that softening around the edges. Giving in to the tug of gravity. Let there be a softness to this transition. A gentle touch. Not trying to force it, not trying to rush it. Simply filling the space. Learning to let go. Feel the breath freely moving in and moving out into that space. Take just a few more breaths, just a few more moments out of the day. And your next inhale is a nice deep, full inhale. You fill the belly, fill the chest, and as you're ready, you release the breath, drawing in, and release it. 
You wrap your arms around your shins, hugging your thighs tight against your abdomen. And you gently rock from side to side. That sense of movement, the shifting in the body. And back to center hands behind your knees as you rock from the tailbone to the shoulder blades. Coordinating the movement of the breath with the movement of the body. And the next inhale draws you up to sit. You sit tall. The back of the neck is long and the eyes remain closed. Then inhale as you rise up. Tadasana. You find your balance. The feet are firm, the shoulders are bent. You close your eyes as they open. Then palms get at your heart. And on inhale, you take the arms up length. And exhale as you fold forward all of your legs. You get the hands to the floor, bending your knees if you need to. And inhale, right foot steps back, low lunge. Left foot back, plank pose. And exhale as you lower towards the floor. Inhale forward, broadening the collarbone. And exhale, you press the hips back and up. Down. <clears throat> nice firm pressure in the bones. Sending the hips back and up. Taking any movement you like. And then inhale, right foot steps forward, low lunge. Left foot forward, folding over your legs. And inhale as you rise all the way back up, full extension. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, left foot steps back, low lunge. Right foot back plank. Exhale as you lower. Inhale forward. Exhale, pressing back. Down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward, opening the hips. Right foot forward, folding over your leg. Inhale, rising, reaching for the seat. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, take the arm under. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, right foot steps back. Left foot back. Exhale, as you lower. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, pressing the hips back and up. Using each round to open the body up, to warm it up, letting your full length, full range of motion. Inhale, right foot forward, low lunge. Left foot forward, folding over your legs. Inhale, rising, reaching for the ceiling. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back. Right foot back. Exhale, as you lower. Inhale, cobra up, up. Exhale, the down up. <clears throat> Inhale, left foot. Exhale, right. Inhale, rising. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back. Left foot. 
Exhale, lowering the chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, the down dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, rising. Exhale, hands to your heart. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, forward. Inhale, left foot back. Right foot back. Exhale, as you lower. Inhale. And exhale. Down. Inhale, left foot. Exhale, right foot. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hands to your heart. Then you relax your arms, close your arms if they've opened. Sit on the spot. Put the big toes close, heels apart. You bend the knees, drop the hips, and sweep the arms gently. The thighs hug, tailbone draws down. Nice full breaths. Then exhale as you straighten your legs, folding forward. You catch hold of your toes, your ankles, your shins. Whatever you got. The head hangs heavy. The tailbone lifts towards the ceiling. Nice active forward fold. Then inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands as you float or step back. Down dog or vinyasa. Inhale, the right leg lifts. And exhale, you step the foot forward. High lunge. Back heel stays lifted. The torso and arms sweep up. And bring your arms straight out in front. We're going to take eagle arms. So that right elbow underneath the left. You cross the elbows. Twist, you tie the forearms. You're trying to lift those elbows up. You keep pressing back through that left heel. This long stance. Feel that broadening across your upper back. Then inhale, taking the arms back up overhead, high lunge. Palms together, thumbs to your heart as you twist to the right. Revolve side angle. Taking that elbow outside that right thigh, drawing the torso around. Using your breath to help with the twist. And with your next inhale, let that left arm guide you as you open up for warrior two. Left heel spins in. The hips and chest are now squared and long into the mat. Arms are in a T. You soften your eyes. And straightening out your right leg, you reach forward for triangle pose. Right hand lands down, left arm reaches up to start. Getting nice and long through the spine. Crown the heads are reaching towards the top edge of the neck. We're then going to take that left arm behind our back with a half bind. 
trying to grab hold of that right thigh with the left hand. That left shoulder rolls open. Stay long through the spine. Then exhale, hands to the floor as you step back. Down dog or vinyasa. And inhale the left leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot forward. High lunge. You set your base. A strong stance with those legs. And bring the arms straight out in front. It'll be that left elbow underneath the right. Bend the elbows. Twist your tie the forwards. And inhale as you sweep the arms back up overhead. Palms together, thumbs to your heart. And you twist to the left. Revolve side angle. You can always broaden those arms or bind as you twist tighter. With the palms together, you press that left hand into the right. Working to get your thumbs to line up with the center of your chest. And then inhale, right arm guides you, warrior two. Sweeping open. Right heel spins in. And right foot's parallel to the back edge of the mat. The eyes are rolling away from each other, so you're broad across your left. The arms are reaching out, broadening across the upper chest. And straightening that left leg, you reach forward, triangle pose. Left hand lands down, right arm reaches up. Get long through all your limbs. Finding that length, then wrapping that right arm behind your back. Trying to grab that inner left thigh. Trying to open up that right shoulder a bit more. Maintaining that length through the spine. And exhale, hands to the floor. Down dog, or vinyasa. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, you step the foot forward. Warrior one. Left heel spins in. The torso and arms sweep up. That left foot is turned slightly forward as you draw that left hip forward. Trying to square your hips with the top edge of the mat.
and palms together, thumbs to your heart. To take one big step, drawing that left knee forward, standing tall on your right leg. From here, we're going into dancer's pose. That left hand reaches down, catching hold of that left foot or ankle. Right arm reaches up. Lean forward slightly as you start to lift that left foot up behind you. Lifting through that left foot and that right arm. And inhale, coming back to center. You place that left foot on the floor, relaxing your arms. Tadasana. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Float or step. Down dog or vinyasa. Inhale, the left leg, and exhale, you step the foot forward, warrior one. Set your feet, and sweep the torso up. Full breaths. And palms here, the thumbs to your heart. And take that step, drawing that right knee forward, standing tall on your left leg. As you feel steady, that right hand reaches down, catching that right foot. Left arm reaches up. You lean forward slightly as you lift the two legs. Inhale back to center and exhale you place the foot on the floor. Tadasana. Inhale the arms up. Exhale fold forward. Inhale halfway. Exhale plant the hands. Down to Agor Vinyasa. Inhale, the right leg lifts, and exhale, you step the foot forward, lower your weight. And straightening out that right leg, take the arms behind your back, either reverse prayer, palms together, fingers pointing up towards the ceiling, or you grab up to elbows. Either one. Simply meant to help get those shoulders to roll back, the collarbones broad. And exhale, you fold forward over that right leg. Pyramid pose. Nice firm pressure into both feet. And inhale, rising back up, for your right knee bends, arms sweep up overhead. Now sweep the arms behind your back, interlace the fingers. Draw those knuckles away as you fold forward, humble warrior. Keeping that right knee bending as close to 90 degrees as you can. The torso and head draped towards the floor.
And then exhale, release the hands to the floor. We're gonna bring that right hand on the floor inside the right foot. You can adjust that left foot, turning those left toes out slightly as we set up for side angle. And then inhale as you sweep that left arm, left side of your torso, open to the ceiling. You wanna wrap that left arm behind your back for your body, feel free. Rolling over. Nice and broad, nice full breaths into the upper chest. And bring the arms back into a T if they're not already. And inhale, you rise up for your toe. And straighten out that right leg, turn those toes in. And we draw the heels towards each other for goddess pose. The knees bend, the hips in. And elbows bend 90 degrees. You soften your arms. Inhale as you extend the forelimbs. Spin those heels out as you fold forward. You take a breath and walking yourself around to the top edge of the mat, framing that right foot as you step back. Down dog or vinyasa. Inhale the left leg and exhale you step the foot forward. Warrior one. And straighten that left leg. Take the arms behind your back. Reverse prayer or opposite elbows. Wrong the collar. Open up across the chest. As you then fold forward over that left leg. A pyramid. Inhale, rising back up, warrior one. And sweep the arms behind your back, and lace the fingers. Draw those knuckles away. Open that collarbone. And exhale, fold forward for humble warrior. Keeping that left knee bending. It's the torso six. Working that deep flexion. Then exhale, hands to the floor. Left hand inside that left foot. Right toes turn out so that right foot's parallel to the back edge of the mat. And inhale as you sweep that right side open for side angle. Nice deep full breath. And with your arms in the teeth, inhale as you rise up, warrior two. You straighten out that left leg. You turn the toes in and draw the heels towards each other as the knees bend, the hips in. Goddess pose. You soften your eyes. Turn your attention to your breath. And 
straining those limbs. Spin the heels up and you fold forward. You take a breath and walk yourself to the top edge of the mat, freeing that left foot and stepping back. Down dog or vinyasa. Inhale the right leg and exhale you step the foot forward. Warrior walk. Then straighten out that right leg, setting up a revolved triangle. Right hand to right hip, left hand guides you forward. You fold about halfway and you rotate. Left hand lands down, right arm reaches up. Left shoulder is rolling under as that right hip draws back. Firm pressure in both feet so you feel stable. Then exhale, the right hand comes down and you step that left foot forward next to your right. Holding over your legs. And bend that right knee as much as you need to to get that right hand on the floor as that left arm sweeps up to the ceiling. You can stay there or wrap that left arm behind your back, opening that left shoulder, twisting the torso. You stay there or you take that right arm between your legs and you catch hands outside that right hip. Setting up for bird of paradise. Once you catch hands, you shift your weight over that left foot as you press down to rise up. Lifting the torso, being tall through the crown of the head. Maybe working on straightening that right leg up. One more breath, and nice and smooth wherever you are. You just come back to folding over your legs, and the head hang, the arms dangle. You take a breath. Inhale halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. Choose your breath. Move with your breath. Inhale the left leg and exhale, step the foot forward. Warrior. And straining out that left leg, left hand to left hip, right arm guides you forward and you rotate. Right hand lands down, left arm reaches up. Ball triangle. Left hand comes down as you step that right foot forward. Hold the no legs. And the left knee bends so that left hand can touch down. And that right arm sweeps up. Nice open twist. Maybe wrapping that right arm behind your back. Maybe taking that left arm through your thighs. Catching hands outside that left hip, bird of paradise. 
pressing into that right foot to lift the torso. Good, nice and smooth. Back to folding over your legs. Letting the arms, the head just hang. Inhale, half up. Exhale, plant the hips. Down dog, or vinyasa. Then inhale the right leg and exhale, you step the foot forward. Lower the left knee, uncurl the toes. You sink the hips as the arms sweep up. Press and lunge. Drawing your hips down and forward. Breathing deep into your upper chest. And bring that left forearm to your right thigh as that right arm sweeps back, the crescent twist. You can stay there or bend that left knee, catching hold of that left foot. You hug the heel in and maintain that twist, turning the torso, open across the upper chest. And back to center, hands to the floor as you send that right leg back and up, down dog splits. Right heels reaching for the ceiling. Then stacking that right hip over the left. You can stay there or bend that right knee and place the foot on the floor outside the left edge of the mat. Flipping yourself over, turning your hips and chest to face the ceiling. Then coming back to center, right leg is lifted still, and exhale, you draw that right knee forward for pigeon. Placing that right knee on the mat. You adjust your legs. You can stay upright for your pigeon variations, or you drape yourself forward. Inhale, rising up, plant the hands, and step back. Down dog or vinyasa. Then inhale, the left leg, and exhale, step the foot forward. Right knee lowers, toes uncurl. Hips sink as the torso and arms sweep up. Nice full breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Then exhale, right forearm to left back. Left arm sweeps back. Torso is twisting. Maybe a bend in that right knee, catching hold of that right foot. Hugging the heel straight in towards that right hip as the torso twists. And back to center. Plant the hands and send that left leg up and back. Down dog splits. And stacking that left hip over the right. Maybe bending that right knee. Or excuse me, that left knee. Placing that left foot on the floor. But you flip yourself over. You lift your waistline as high as you can. Pressing down. Opening the front of the body. Then back to center, lifting that left leg up behind me, reaching the heel for the ceiling, and draw the knee forward for pigeon. That right leg can slide back. That left shin can shimmy forward. Once you're set, you stay upright, or you drape yourself forward. And plant your hands and step back. Down the dog, roll the knees. And exhale, you just lower your knees to the floor and you come to sitting on your heels. From here, we're going to sit over to the right side of your feet, setting up our pinwheel toes. So you're going to take that left thigh and draw it back and draw that right shin forward. You adjust your legs as you need. And what you're looking for is 90 degrees with that right knee, 90 degrees from right thigh to left thigh, and then 90 degrees from left thigh to left shin. So you got those three 90 degree angles. And that right hand on the floor behind you. The left arm is actively reaching up as you twist to the right. Looking over that right shoulder, reaching up through that left arm. Opening that lateral line of the body as you twist. Then back to center and we switch sides. So that left leg sweeps forward. The right leg sweeps back. And then you adjust your legs once again. Looking for that nine degrees at that left knee, nine degrees from left thigh to right thigh, and 90 degrees at that right knee. Once your legs are set, left hand on the floor behind you. Right arm is reaching up as you twist to the left. Deep breaths into the belly, using that breath to help twist. Then back to center, and you take the legs straight out in front. Paschimottanasana. The legs are straight, the feet are flexed. The arms reach up and exhale, you fold forward, catching hold of whatever you got. 
and bow your head, close your eyes. Lead with your heart, the center of your chest. As you fold forward. Inhale as you rise up. You sweep the arms forward. And on exhale, you lower yourself down onto your back. You come to lying flat. You take a breath. I'm preparing for three rounds of back bends. The knees bend, the feet are flat. The arms are alongside the body for bridge. Our hands above the shoulders for upward facing bow. And on your next inhale, you press down into your feet to lift the hips, low back, middle back, upper back if you like. And exhale, lowering down. And take a nice full breath. And inhale, press down to go up once again. And exhale, lowering down. Third and final one. On and inhale, press down to go up. On and exhale, you lower down. You draw your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins. Nice tight squeeze. And taking the arms alongside the body, palms flat, legs go straight up. You hang out there, or shoulders down. Toes towards the floor beyond your head. Once the hips lift, you bend the elbows, hands against the back, as you send your legs up. more breaths if you want any variations. You wiggle the toes, roll the ankles. Swing the legs wide, it's a zone part. Lotus, a twist. That feels good. And if you're on the shoulder stand, come back to center. And you take the toes towards the floor beyond your head for plow. 
Hips are high, low back's open. And release the hands, fingers point forward. And nice and smooth. You unwrap. Come to lie flat on your back. Once down the arms alongside the body preparing for fish. You're pressing your hands and elbows to lift the head and torso. Work the spine, roll the shoulders back. And release the crown of the head to the floor. And exhale, lowering down. You turn your knees into your chest, you wrap your arms around your shins. Nice tight squeeze. And taking the arms and the cactus arms, elbows bent 90 degrees. And you release the knees over to the left. One final twist. And back to center. And over to the right. Back to center. Now on exhale, you extend the legs out onto the mat. Shavasana. Or tuck your hands behind your knees, catching a ride for a headstand. If you're doing a headstand, you take your time. You stay up as long as you like, coming down whenever you're ready. If you're new to headstand, you just start on your arms and knees. Grab opposite elbows. Keep the elbows where they are as you bring the hands up. Fingers and lace, palms are front. You place the crown of your head on the floor, cupping the back of your head and your hands. And curl your toes and lift your knees. You set your base. Forearms and shoulders are firm. As you walk the feet towards the elbows, and eventually drawing one knee in towards your chest, heel towards your head, then the other. You find your balance in the low position, and you just take those legs straight up. You stay up as long as you like, coming down the same way you went up when I have your turn.
slowly begin taking deeper inhales, more active exhales, gently waking the body back up. You start to wiggle the fingers and toes. You roll the wrists and ankles, arms and legs. Then turn your palms flat down onto the ground, gripping the floor as you inhale, grounding yourself. And exhale, you draw your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, and rock over to your right side. You rest there for a moment and see the full potential. And on an inhale, you slowly rise up to sitting. You come into a comfortable seated posture. The spine is tall, shoulders are back. Chest is lifted, heart is open. Back of the neck is long and the eyes remain closed. And palms together, heart center, thanking yourself and each other for being here. Clear mind, peaceful mind. Peaceful speech, loving speech, loving heart, clear heart. Namaste. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.